Hello everybody, welcome to Outfield's Plays, it's a brand new game that I have picked up, it's actually from 2017, uh, it's called Bendy and the Ink Machine, this is a horror game, so if you're not into that sort of thing, look away now, um, and just before we start, I want to say a massive big shout out to Zangiri on the Dapperdell Discord server, because it was him who got me this game after I put it on my wish list. it's a bit of a story, I'm not going to bang on about it, but uh, yeah, massive thank you to Zangiri, so when you're watching this episode, please, 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 Keep in mind that this was bought for me by somebody else out of the goodness of their heart, and such things do happen still these days. I'm going to press begin, and I've never pressed this button before, so this is all new to me. I don't know if there's going to be a cutscene, so I'm going to shush for a while, uh, and we'll see what this is about. Oh, it was fine. Select. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Dear Henry, it seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years. Really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. Something I need to show you. Your best pal, Joey Drew. Continue. There's a B in the corner. I'm assuming that was a Bendy sort of logo. Um, part of me thought it was maybe press B. I'm not using the controller because this is a FPS game. Uh, I'm sensing it's going to be maybe a little bit like Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Oh, time to shush. Uh, no, I'm already in control. Nice. I am here. I'm just going to, uh... By the way, I apologise slightly, but not massively, if you, uh... Are having trouble with the audio. Again, not played this game yet. So... Basically, I have no idea whether the volumes are, are any good. The volume levels. So, if this is too loud, if I'm too quiet. Uh, tough. I'll figure it out at the end of this episode. Let's see what, what we're doing. I'm just wandering around. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, by the way... Turn away. Photosensitivity warning. I probably put that up at the start in text as well, if I remember. So apologies if I didn't do that. Um, but that's a, a bit flickery and it's kind of creeping me out already. I have turned the lights off in my office, which is a little bit um, aggrandize, ag aggrandizing of it to, for me to call it uh, uh, an office. But that's what it is because that's what I've made it. Uh, I do go slightly faster if I press shift. I don't know. Art department, ink machine, theater, break room. Art department here. Me in. This reminded me somewhat, um, I don't know if you've seen a chap called Belmont Boy, go check out his channel, he's uh, really entertaining. Um, I, I like his face and his voice, and he played uh, a horror game which I <laughs> cannot remember the name of at all, which uh, basically involved wandering around these really creepy places and, and every time you went somewhere the uh, scenery changed and stuff like that. It was a, a bit of a mind bender. It's one of my favourite things in a game is to have a bit of a mind bender to be honest. So. Faces jump. Keep it. I, I like it when things mess with us. This lift could use a few dry cells. Dry cell. This is a dry cell. I assume that's some sort of power. I interact with this, apparently. There's another one. I appreciate that the, the things that I'm doing are just sort of exactly what I expect. Sensible, um, sensible control scheme is a, a great way to get me into your game without having to faff around. So, again, this is a horror, in theory. So far, it's just been a little bit interesting, more like Myst, <clears throat> uh, I think, or, or such things, Zork, maybe, in style. But I'm fully expecting this to go horribly wrong. I apologise for the creakiness of my voice. Um, turn on the ink machine. Okay, the power station. Okay, let's go. Um, <clears throat> I am either too dehydrated, so I drink stuff, or then the drink has made me a bit... You're Forgive me for saying so, Flemmy, um, and <coughs> it's hard to clear, clear your throat out. The, the layout of this place is already starting to creep me out because I feel like maybe it's not everything it seems. At this point, I don't get what Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, it's messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Hey, put that back. So that's what these pipes are then. These look like full of ink, or at least they look like they're fucking... Why... Why do this? Have a pipe. Design principles of certain people astound me. Oh! I actually frightened myself, did not expect that to open. What did I pick up? Is there an inventory button? 
There's no real buttons to be pressed. Thank you. Rolling does nothing. Okay. Clicking does nothing. This is one of those. That's why I, I did think this might be a little bit like amnesia, at least by the... Is at the beginning, because there's absolutely nothing I can do except for just interact with stuff that already exists in the environment. Doesn't do anything. We are looking for... J for journal? Yeah. Do I, do I speed up? Marginally, I think. I think I'm, I'm jogging. I'm not too happy about the idea. I wonder how corpulent my character is. I want to give him a heart attack just by trying to get around the environment a little bit faster and maybe... Maybe the speed of the... Yeah, nice try. <laughs> if, any, if that made any of you jump, I don't hold it against you. Um, obviously, I am a little bit more... Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? What are you doing? What is this shit? Apologize for my friend. But not that much. This is not not for children. It's a spanner. Is that real ribs? Can I reach that? Who's laughing now? <laughs> um, I think someone has gone insane in the membrane uh, as a result of too many cartoons, which can happen. Come after everybody. There's a leak in the ink machine. Again, apologies if you are having trouble with the flashing. There... I, I can't predict it. Otherwise, I would say, hey, look away. Until until we're good. Have we been here? Yes. Was that there before? I don't know. Um, It is really creepy. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to sort of lampshade what you're supposed to be feeling about this game right now. And I... I did turn the... Um, I'm drinking it. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to not because it might be HP later. Okay. Right, well. Three more have appeared without without my interaction. Uh, excuse me. Should we do that again? I wonder if there's any anything to be had from actually being good at this. I don't know. It kind of something makes a noise, but I don't know if that's a coincidence. It's already weirding me out, and not. Always on time. Um. It, this is an unnerving situation. I don't know if I'll call it horror yet. <laughs> um, it, it, it is unnerving me just because we're so we're so quiet and we're alone, you know? I don't know these spider webs, but I can't get through them. That might be where we have to go. I assume, I can imagine this place would be much, much, much more atmospheric when there are people there and working and the hustle and bustle of animators and... You know, everyone being yelled at all the time. Um, excuse me? Well, there is a light, so at least there's that. He will set us free. There's a record. I'm going to leave these because I'm wondering if maybe at some point we get <laughs> an HP bar and then those things will refill it and I'm going to look quite the fool for having just eaten them all just because they were there. Dreams come true. I mean... Some of these things, I'm starting to wonder, if you are of the type, you're quite welcome to try and map this place out and see whether some of the uh, some of the places that we've been overlap with one another. It's a common trick to mess with your psyche in games like this. And it doesn't really seem like that type of game, but... My old desk. God, I wasted so much time in this chair. Isn't it now? Let's see what we can do. The, the weird blurriness is uh, part of the game, it seems. So is the film grain, which I'm actually quite enjoying. I'm loving the old time you look to it. I got a wall or two after I left. I guess it took a few people to replace me. I'm not yet scared. I'm going to keep telling myself that. If you keep telling yourself that, then I think we'll be in this together. Uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, the fact that nothing's happening is actually worse than any of the things that could happen, I think. Which is, yeah, it's again a common trope. But I don't want to fall for it. They tried to 
scare me with a falling piece of wood. Nah, you know, you're already doing more than enough by m just making things change when I turn around and stuff like that. Uh, it is really not necessary to do the other things that you are. The jump scares aren't necessary. These are rotating. What a waste of power. I'm half Can I just stand in front of this? Do I get a shadow? I'm wondering if we can install something in here. Ooh. Did I do that yet? Uh, it strikes me as the sort of game where things like that cause things to change because the uh, the, uh, the the correlation between things that are done and the things that do them might be a little bit strange. <laughs> Not necessarily 100% uh, of this world is what I'm trying to say. But turning that off might be sufficient. Where are we supposed to be going? It said to look for the power plant, but I don't really know how to do that. There is a small perspective change when I try running. This place is weird. Get me out. This is where we came in. It doesn't look like anything's actually crossing over. It's, uh, I'm constantly double guessing myself in this. Am I being freaked out? The fact that there's so much of this. What does it say on it anyway? Just the way the little devil likes it. Bacon soup. Everything is bacon soup. I don't know if these things did open before. Did I try them? Go back and look. Tell me. Don't lie to me. Uh, <laughs> it's weird enough as it is. Projectors. I can't really do anything with them. I'm just going to see if there's an option. Tip locate the power. Oh, there you go. Settings. Controls. You can't actually change the the controls themselves. Well, you know the the key bindings. Normally, if you can change the key bindings, you can see what sort of things you can do. I can't activate this, which is very frustrating. I think having been here before, I wouldn't know my way around. Maybe a little GPS thing, like in GTA. The worst GPS, because all it would show you is. Um, where the thing is and not how to get there. I'm thinking of Need for Speed actually. You ever play that? Need for Speed Porsche 2K. That's it! I'm trying to remember what it was I had on the GameCube. Nope, Porsche 2000 I had on the PC. So this fell, so it kind of makes me feel like we should go this way. That's the freaky thing that happened. We didn't go here. What a fool. How do I get this to work? Locate and place the objects. Pull the thing. Gear, spanner, book. Teddy bear, music, ink pot. I think I've seen all those things whilst walking around. Hello. Who put this here? That's extremely creepy. <laughs> Why do you have to do this? And I, it, don't, it doesn't move either, so there you go. My character didn't jump, he just went, oh. So I, I knew I could get this thing. I was looking at it going, I want this spanner. Give me the spanner. The game gave me the spanner, but it did railroad me into it, which is... It's okay. Um, honestly, the... Um, studio that made this I've never heard of before I don't know if there are any I don't know as, be as rude as to say I don't know if they were any good but um, I guess we'll see based on this particular offering but I don't know if they are um, I keep <laughs> saying I want to say words but they sound so insulting I wanted to say professional but I don't mean professional I mean you know how much budget do they have? how much time do they have how how good is this compared to how much how many resources they had to do so. Um, often there's a lot of polish missing and a, a very good example of that would be The Legend of Bumba, which I've been playing... Well, Jen's been playing it on the channel, so go and check that out. Um, ooh. Ah, music. Uh, that has needed a lot of polish since it was released, but the people who made it, um, the, the studio that worked on it, was not... You know, a big time studio. They didn't have a huge amount of. Was this here before? <laughs> I keep finding this bacon soup everywhere, just like hanging out. Is this new? Things are changing behind me in its setting. So, you know, the 
the ability to pick up the quest items before the quest has begun would be nice, but yeah, that's that's the sort of thing you can afford to do if you're, um, you know, Obsidian Entertainment filling in the new offering when another studio comes in and takes your, you know, several years of intellectual property and makes it into a whole new game and gives you the opportunity to play with it and then says that game was so good that we're never going to let you do it again and then it's out of your hands and then you make a new one uh, and actually polish it up well and do everybody proud if you've got that sort of budget then yeah by all means let people pick up the quest items before they have a quest to do but a uh, small time studio I'm waffling on to keep myself A, entertained, and B, grounded in reality. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I've seen all those things, and I thought one of them was in the break room, to be honest, but I didn't find anything down there. Oh, have I seen a spanner? Uh, a, not a spanner, a, um, a gear. Where would I have seen a gear? Maybe actually in the ink machine itself. There was a teddy bear somewhere. It was not my old desk. There must be something through here. I'd be grateful if the sprint button was slightly more than a... You know, an old timey jog. Oh, this was here, right, right, right. Okay. Oh, everybody's shouting at the camera. It was there, you've seen it already. And if you played this game, I apologize. It's obviously very frustrating when somebody is. Excuse me? <laughs> I'd be grateful if you didn't do things like that. Well, there were books in the break room, actually, so that's probably what that is. Here you go, you can have that. It, it seems to me slightly odd that um, those items would be sort of necessary to the running of the ink machine. Is is that what was over there before? Bendy, you're such a freaky character, okay? <laughs> it's not helpful that this 1920s... What perplexes me is that in the 20s and 30s, etc., that was like normal for the way cartoons looked. You know, people dealt with that creepy smile and those weird eyes and just went, sure, I, I'm happy with this. This isn't, you know, sucking my soul, draining me of my humanity as I watch it. No, 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 this is perfectly fine. But for me, for us, you know, the modern mores of our lives, we're not happy with that sort of thing. I do not know where this gear might be. Oh, I did actually suggest maybe it's in the ink machine itself. But there's a bottle of ink that I needed as well, which I was expecting to be on one of these desks. I can understand why the ink machine might need a bottle of ink, but it's almost a very Discworldian um, sort of setup of a machine where the, the thinking machine Hex in Unseen University wouldn't work if you removed many of its components, even though there's absolutely no reason why any of those components would have any effect on the running of the machine. And this seems like one of those things. You have to put these things on the pedestals or the machine will refuse to work, and it's all because of occult and stuff like that. So, uh, forgive me if I'm not a fan. <laughs> Go over here again. I might find a gear. In the thing all along, and it was large as life and bright as day. So I should have remembered about that. <clears throat> there's three more things to find, and there's not that much space for them to be hidden in. Where was the chair with the teddy bear on it? <laughs> Am I going insane? Help me, people. Ugh. <sighs> you creepy little bastard. <laughs> okay, you got me with that one, game. I'll let you. I'll let you have that one. Don't do it again, though. No. More of those and you'll just spoil it. Didn't you find? I remember learning when I was a kid. Learning to play bass guitar. Playing in a band. And uh, the teacher that would run the... Because the band was part of the music school. So the music schools had three bands made of different age brackets. I was in the teenager one and my dad was in the... Um, seniors... <laughs> Um, uh, and there was another band which was made of the teachers themselves, and of course uh, there was a, I think, under 12s, under definitely 10 year old sort of 
ages anyway. Um, we have this book. We have this. I don't know what this is. And you can have this. Let's go and find that. Um, and he would tell me when I was facing. Well, I'll be quiet with your phone nonsense. Ten o'clock at night, and I'm playing a creepy game with the lights off. And it, yes, it has affected me once already. So, <laughs> no, greatest fan of my. Uh, I really need to rethink my decisions. <laughs> Put a little bit of smarts into it, and maybe you know play this during the day. Uh, when it's not about to affect my life and dreams and literal dreams. Are you still poking out of there? Yes. Well, at least you're still there. I mean, it's literally just a thing that fell, right? I tried to open the door and just fell out. What actually happened was, it's attacking me. And I, uh, I would choose to believe this. Uh, he said not to play any too many frills. You know, don't do too many things that are... Um, don't put too much interest right if it's going to be an interesting baseline by all means play the baseline play it well you know play it with passion play it with skill etc but if it's a simple baseline which most of them are because nobody gives any respect the bassists obviously what respect does a bassist deserve um then when you do put a little you know, uh, a glissande in, or is that how you pronounce it? Glissande? Um, or, or something like that. Do it once in a while and it keeps the baseline interesting, but do it all the time. Just like, stop. <laughs> I'm trying to be clever. Anyway, the point is, don't keep doing jump scares and I won't get used to them. Which is exactly what is happening. How is there not a bottle of ink on any of these tables where all the inking happens? It's not even on my desk. Is exactly where I'd expect to find it. How dare you? I don't want to turn around half the time because there's going to be another bendy behind me <sighs> scaring me up. Oh, it's this one. Okay, that's all of them. I've been, I looked at it at one point as well and I went, What is that thing? And it didn't tell me its secrets, it didn't speak to me, it didn't offer up any truths. It just sat there inert, like. A bottle of ink. So I'm a little bit scared of starting this machine now because I haven't done anything of any particular import and yet somebody or something occult, which by the way is exactly what this machine is, uh, is doing stuff that I have. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. This is the main power. So I need to go and find the pressure valve was around the corner. Not in here. Oh, why is everything so far away from everything else? Go and find it. Around here. I'm running, and if there's a bendy, I'm just going to scream, okay? If that offends any of you, then I apologize, but not so much that I'm going to do anything about it. About it. It bloody well went away again. It's you. I've got goose bumps. <laughs> My character has no interest in what's happening. Uh, don't get me. It's gonna get me. What was that? It's Jen. Oh my god. Can you stop <laughs> scaring me when I'm playing a terrifying game in the dark? Ooh. No more bendies, please. Turn on the ink machine. No! <laughs> All I did was turn on the pump. It's already terrifying me. I hope I'm taking the a headphone off so I can hear the real world because I'm worried that what's actually happening is there is surround sound. <laughs> and then making... This is, um, yes, quite well executed. Thank you. I'm not going to turn around. <gasps> okay. Uh, I'm just going to stand here until everything stops changing. Uh, tiptoe. This is very amnesia, don't you think? If you've played it, then you'll understand me. And if you haven't, don't. But the, the silence and the aloneness and the just things changing and the, the mind 
F. You know? Now we go into the ink machine, and if a bendy shows up out of the corner of my eye and scares me, look, you you people at home are just going to have to deal with me squealing. Okay? <laughs> and I am probably going to... Oh, why? <laughs> oh, I can run, can I? Jump. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> it was a real thing. This is not running. <laughs> uh, get out. The door's open. Get out. Oh, it's gone down. I'm dead. Never mind. I didn't like it, Mum. <laughs> I told you you're gonna have to deal with it. Oh. Um, that seems like a good time to leave it. Uh, ending on a squeal. Um, hope you weren't wearing headphones. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, and I hope that you'll join me in the next episode, which I'm going to record straight away. Um, but yeah, um, come back then and we'll see quite how terrified I can sound at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, see you soon.